Give me MP. Hey, look, you making this easy on me. I was gonna be down here anyway. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I figure since every time we talk, we end up talking about your fashion choices anyway. Yeah. It makes sense to meet here, you know? Hey, look, Andrew, this is my spot. Right, right. Listen, you know, the thing I've been wondering about is now that you're dipping your toes in the fashion world, what is it about fashion that's so important to you? <sighs> I mean, it's the, it's the ultimate first impression. Okay. See, look at this, hold on. Look at all these clothes, they tell a story. Mm. You, you get to find out what people are, what they like. Uh, colors, patterns, textures, all of that. It just, anything you choose to wear is telling me everything I need to know about you. That's the reality. Interesting. So what's the first thing you notice about the way someone's dressed? You know, just a, just a general sense of their style. What kind of swag they got, bro? You know, are they wearing something because they can pull it off? Or they worried that they can't pull it off? It's so deep for me that I can tell just by the color you choose to put on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Andrew, is I'm I'm serious about this, man. <laughs> okay, I feel you. Now I'm probably gonna regret this, but let's just do it. <laughs> what do you see when you're looking at me? Uh, hey, look, it might be easier for me to tell you what advice I give you. Okay. Okay, let's go with that. Hey, Andrew, it's all about the swagger, man. Look, you just need the confidence. The confidence that you can throw anything going and you can pull it off. It starts there. Mm. I mean, look, I seen you in this before, and it's cool, <laughs> right? Right? Don't get me wrong, it's uh -huh. cool, but you you can't be scared to go throw on a pattern, throw on some different shades of blue just because you try not to offend somebody. Hey, look, listen to me clearly. You can take it, you can leave it. Be the most that you can be. I mean, that sounds like good advice in regards to anything, really. <laughs> look, no doubt, man. Hey, look, I'm glad we did this, but I'm gonna let you get back to shopping, okay? Okay. To the floor of the book. Chicago turned out a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. Now, when Lonzo Ball entered the league in 2017, Greg, there were major questions about his shooting. And he struggled, of course, during his rookie year. Yeah, and, and shooting 30% from deep and under 50% at the line. But Credit to Lonzo. He's put major work into his stroke, getting that free throw percentage to over 75% during his fourth year in the league. And his three-point numbers, they've also improved greatly. DeRozan passes the ball. Olenek against DeRozan. Back to ball. Just five on the clock. Caruso, no good. The Pistons trailing. Waiting outside. And he hits it to tie the game up. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Here's Levine. Plays it up and banks it in. Levine. Beautiful play when it comes to explosive dribble moves. Levine makes it happen. Here's Peyton. It's all in by the Bulls. DeRozan's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, earlier I spoke with Dwayne Casey. Coach was saying that he feels Zach Levine is still underrated as a star in this league. Coach said when Levine gets going, there's just no way to stop him. He's one of the most natural scoring threats in the league. They certainly will respect Levine's explosive offense tonight. Guys? Thank you, David. And here is Ball. Eight points for him. Pass to Caruso. Outside DeRozan. Bradley is green on Lyons. And DeRozan kicks to Caruso. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Olenek. Caruso, no good. Detroit's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. Trills the three-pointer. Peyton's got seven. And several stops for MP before he made it here to the NBA. Greg, he spent a year in college before playing in the G League. And that's a great route for a guy like MP. He felt like he was ready for the challenge. Joining the G League was the perfect place for him to grow. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Pistons. Here's the drive. And the rejection by Bradley. There's the pass to Ball. Releases from 15. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. 
Levine's got four assists now tonight. Peyton dishes to Olenek, and the dunk by Olenek. Finishes well around the basket. You can't let Kelly get past you on the drive. Pass to DeRozan. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. This is where DeRozan is one of the best, below the foul line, making plays. Cunningham gets the bucket. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Ball against Peyton. Kick out to Levine. Passes it to Caruso. On the wing, DeRozan. Pass to Caruso. Detroit with the rebound and going against Chicago, their first game of the NBA's regular season. And going back to last season, they really struggled for wins. And even against a team like this with comparable talent, they didn't manage one win in the season series. Caruso, the pass to ball. Spins. No good off the spin. The Pistons leading. Diallo finds Peyton. Shoots the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Peyton's got ten points in the game. And that pick takes the deep totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're watching 2K Sports. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from Detroit? Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. This is where you credit the guys in the front office for going out and getting you the pieces you need. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And Detroit looking at who they've got. Bay and Grant are the forward. Jackson is out there with Peyton, and it's Stewart in at the five spot. Caruso, the pass to White. Outside, Green. Wide, a screen on Bay. Green deciding where to go with it. Here's Caruso, guarded by Jackson. Pistons leading by nine. Stewart in the corner. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Peyton drives in. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The Bulls shooting 52% from the four. Nice work so far from them. Back to White. Some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And it's Isaiah Stewart with the foul. To the playoff of the Bulls. Comebacks. What distinguishes, in your mind, those with the resilience to battle back? I think it starts with a belief and desire. And the great ones truly hate to lose. Now here's DeRozan. He's guarded by Diallo. And DeRozan kicks the ball. Misses the three. Detroit's gone 5-9 when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Peyton outside, fires it up. That's good again, his seventh basket, seven for 10 from the floor. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. The pass to Levine. Out to DeRozan, pass the ball. Pass to Vucevic. That falls, nice He's feed that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists tonight. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to wheel his team back in the game. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Now here's Two Levine. Minutes. He's guarded close. Pass to Vucevic. A minute 50 left in the first half. Here's Ball. 
It's rebounded by Peyton. Pistons leading by six. And it's Wiles in the corner. Back to Peyton. For three. Another three for Detroit. And staying with it. He drained two triples in the first quarter. Now gets this one. Ball against Peyton. There's 117 left in the first half of the game. And Ball slams it in. The defense playing Lonzo Ball to pass that off. Instead, he takes it all. Four, five. On that shot. The Pistons shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And if we want to take a look back, they converted about 76% from the line. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Outside, ball. Fires from deep. Again, ball missing. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. And the shot is good. And that's now 20 points for Vucevic. Nice speed from Lonzo Ball to the wide open man. He has a good eye for those openings. 24 seconds left to play in the first half. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Outside, Levine. From 13... And he was able to put it up into now out there. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Tony Bradley's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Williams. Kobe White, he's checked in for Levine. And it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. Peyton, good. He can do incredible things. He can also help you win by simply being reliable. So for Chicago right now, DeRozan out there with Green. Then there's Bradley. Then it's White. And it's Caruso in at the one. And White picks to DeRozan. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot. Jackson. That's his first personal foul. Team four. DeRozan with the strength and vertical ability doing damage inside. And at times, it just feels like DeRozan is still underappreciated. Receives a lot of criticism for what he doesn't do and not enough credit for what he does. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow! It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, the league remains in love with three-pointers, but DeMar DeRozan remains true to his game. He says, if I see 100 people walking left, that doesn't mean I'm going to do the same. I see this clear path and want to stay right. Shooting threes, I feel like I'm settling. Whereas I think anytime I drive, I'm going to score or get fouled. Kevin, different strokes, with different folks. Yeah, but D.A., I love that strategy. Thanks for that story. And DeRozan's talked about using negative press to his advantage. You know, he said you have to be Kobe. able to take criticism if you want to be great. Kobe. Use the negative energy to become something more than you thought you could be. Here's Diallo. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got his fifth assist in this one. Man, just adding insults to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Green against Lyle. Two minutes remaining. Five to shoot. Third. Two minutes. Goes back up. 
hole, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Caruso's got seven. Peyton passes to Diallo. Peyton kicks to Jackson. There's 138 left here in the third quarter. A three-pointer, no good. Bulls trail by 13. Here's DeRozan. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got four rebounds in this game. Jackson passes to Lyles. Peyton outside. The pass to Diallo. Back to Peyton. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. And the shot goes down. And the Pistons lead by 15. I thought Olenek got hit on the release, but at his size, he just absorbed it. Green passes to DeRozan. Here's Caruso. Back to DeRozan. It's deflected. Olenek with the steal. Miles no good. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. They get the rebound. Out to DeRozan. And the layup is good. DeRozan's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, no question who's been the aggressor on the offensive glass. Peyton dishes to Olenek. And the dunk by Olenek. Yeah, he can surprise you around the rim. Olenek has some lift. DeRozan surveying the D over Jackson. And the last second attempt does not. Yeah, that's the final point. Hey guys. Okay, Frank, you want to start? Hi there. Frank Valentine here. Hey, great first game. Now, do you think you silenced some of the questions about you being drafted? Thank you, Frank. Look, man, it's nice to meet you, by the way. Hey, look, I hope so. But I know the only way to do this is to perform at this level consistently. And that's just what I'm here to do. There's going to be some ups and some downs, but I believe in myself, man, and I, I hope to earn the trust of the coach and my teammates. Uh, let me ask you this. Did, did it feel like you had anything to prove tonight? No, because it's not about me. You know, it's about the team. My job is to do whatever I can to help the team win, even if that means bringing energy by cheering from the bench. I'm willing to do that, but fortunately tonight, I called my number, I got a chance to show what I can do on the court, and hopefully that continues. All right, well, we sure hope so. A great game, though. Thank you, Frank. Andrew? Great win. And it looked like you were really feeling it personally. Were you calling for the ball? Look, man, I let my teammates know I had it going tonight, so they let me do my thing. They trusted me to carry us with this W. It seemed like you were still looking for your shot even after they started doubling you. Look, I told they coach, you need to bring another one. Two guys can't hold me back. <laughs> Any thought to kicking it out? Sure, if I started missing. <laughs> 